Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Jennifer Taylor, and welcome to today's Qualtrics tutorial, where we're going to be talking about introductions and uh, thank you. So how do you start and end your survey? So I'm going to show you how you do that um, in Qualtrics. So let's get started. I'm going to share my Qualtrics survey with you. So this is my tutorial survey. It's just about Blackboard usage. Um, just ask a couple questions. We've got some skip logic in there, but we want to be able to introduce this survey with a thank you. First, we want to we want to be able to thank the respondent and let them know that their uh, the information that they're sharing is important. So we're going to add a block. I'm going to move it to the top. And we're going to say uh, welcome. So this is the welcome. We're going to add a new question. And this is going to be a text graphic because there is no answer for the respondent to give. The only thing they need to do is click onto the next page. So we're going to do a text or graphic. And I have uh, my intro already written out. So I'm simply gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here. But it says, thank you for agreeing to take part in our survey, measuring Blackboard usage and satisfaction. Today, we will be asking you for your thoughts and opinions regarding Blackboard in order to better serve you in the future. The survey will take four to five minutes to complete and be assured that your answers, that all answers you provide will be kept in the strictest confidentiality. Please click below to begin. So there's a couple parts to this message. One, the thank you, telling them, you know, what they're participating in and then telling them that we're asking them for their thoughts and opinions, what the purpose is, which is to better serve you in the future, how long it's going to take, four to five minutes to complete. And then you also want to make a statement about confidentiality, <coughs> letting them know that their um, answers are going to be protected. All right, so that is how you create the welcome, the introduction. And now the question is, how do we create um, a end page? Um, and there's a couple things we can do. First, I'm gonna take you to survey options. And with survey options, if you go down to this post survey, so there's, there's a bunch of different options, but we're going to go to post survey. You can see they talk about end of survey messaging. So this is that thank you, that last message that the respondent receives. And this can be found in the builder, which we're gonna go back to in just a second. But I wanted to show you the thank you email that you can send. If you have used a database and you have the contacts and email information, then through Qualtrics, you can send a thank you email. And you would load this email and um, you would set the, um, would set everything. Um, you can also do a message for revisiting a completed survey. So in case they've already taken it, you can change that message. You can do email triggers, contact list triggers, and Salesforce triggers. So you can do all those things. But for what we're going to do, we're going to stay on the simple side and we're going to go to the end of the survey and we're going to click on this. And right now it says, we thank you for your time spent taking this survey. Your response has been recorded. Well, that's the default message. If you go over here in this menu bar right here, this edit end of survey. So end of survey, we want to edit it. Uh, we want to do a custom. So I do not have a message. I want to create a new message. And I've already created one, so I'm just going to copy it and paste it. And this will just be the blackboard. Okay. So thank you for taking our blackboard usage and satisfaction survey. We appreciate your feedback. Uh, thank you for, I'm sorry, this, this is supposed to be the description. Um, all right, so we appreciate your feedback. Thank you for taking our Blackboard Usage and Satisfaction Survey. Student satisfaction is important to TAMU CC. The information we gather measures our high level relationships with students and spotlights areas where we need to improve. 
All right, so we're gonna save that. And then you'll see it shows up here at the end. And so that is how you create intros or welcome messages and outros or end of survey messages. So that's all I have for you today for intros and outros. Hopefully you've um, enjoyed your time. Have a great day, bye.